everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today you can see I am joined by one of the cutest gosh darn reptiles we have here at SeaQuest. Yesterday we talked about the capybara, the world's largest rodent. They are very very cool and one of my favorites as well. But today you can see I've got a different friend with me. We have got Storm and Norman, the sulcata tortoise. Now the sulcata tortoise is native to Africa. They're also known as the spur thigh tortoise. Now he's got the spurs back on those back legs there. He's got the spur that sticks out about this far and that's why they're called the spur thigh tortoise as well as the sulcata tortoise. Now they live in Africa. Take a look at these big front legs. Take a look at those. They're very, very big, very, very strong and he's gonna use these front legs to dig. Now the sulcata tortoise will dig big dens and that's where they're going to hide out during the hottest parts of the day because it gets pretty hot where these guys are from. So they're going to hide out in that burrow and then once it cools down a little bit, they'll come out, they'll eat some more of their favorite types of food. Now what do you think my friend Stormy Norman eats? Do you think he eats sushi, tacos? What do you think? So he eats a variety of different types of vegetables, grasses, and, and uh, he is a vegetarian strictly. Now, Stormy Norman here, one of his favorite, oh, did you sneeze? Gazoon type, bless you. One of his favorite foods, he loves yellow squash. Now, I don't like yellow squash, but it's a good thing he does, because we have a lot of it. Now, you can see he's following it. He's pretty gosh darn hungry. Now, let's feed him. Let's take a look at that. All right, yummy, yummy, yummy. Now take a look at that mouth. This is one out of four animals we have here at SeaQuest that has a beak. Let's feed him again. Get a nice up close shot of that. Oh, so yummy. You just love it, don't you? <laughs> So this animal, he does eat a lot. He eats a lot of veggies, a lot of grasses, a lot of hay. He eats a lot. So right now, he is about 100 pounds, but he's gonna get even bigger than that. He can get upwards of 200 pounds. Now that's the males. The males will get bigger than the females when it comes to the sulcata tortoise. There you go. We'll move it over here so we can get you back in the camera. So we can get upwards of 200 pounds. Now, uh, Storm and Norman here just celebrated his 27th birthday, but the Sulcata tortoise can live for over a hundred years. Now that is a very, very long time. And you can see, this is a very smart reptile too. He's following me, he's saying, hey, do you have any more food? Quit talking to them, look at me and feed me, right? That's what he's saying right now, you can just tell, right? Now, one of my favorite reptiles, like we said, one of the four animals here at SeaQuest that has a beak. And next episode, we're gonna be talking about one of the other reptiles, another one of those four that have a beak. So tune on in next time. Make sure if you're not already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram so you can see all of these amazing videos that we're shooting every day, Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock Eastern time. Thank you so much for, mm, thank you so much for coming in today and we'll see you next time.